This is the AC Stores, I'm the AC, and here's another batch for my dream pad. November 27th, 2019, a couple of people of my family and I are driving around town and spot this huge new Indian restaurant. We go in and I see some girl about to play some game with money on the table. My brother and I join her while the other person goes drinking. Turns out it is her birthday and she is doing a little gambling. Mm. The game she is playing is described weird, but it is essentially a chips and rat race. She seems to have no idea what that game is though. The dealer gives us all of some money, but never actually does anything with it. We try to start playing, but my brother keeps messing it up by sending the cards flying. It seems like he could be doing it on accident, but he keeps doing it, so I think it is on purpose. We decide to stop playing, and the girl and I just end up talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. Part 2. <laughs> I'm at my place with a group of people, and everyone is drinking except for me for some reason. Eventually, we decide to go out, and I decide I am going to drink once we are out. Everyone thought I was going to be the responsible one that night, and I assure them everything will be fine. Apparently, the whole time I have been trying to impress a girl in the group, Somehow we decide to take a plane to wherever we are going. We get to the airport and I feel like I have to change clothes and I do not know why. Everyone tells me to hurry. I try changing outside but there are too many people I need to get completely naked. I go into some hotel room and it is still hard for me to change. I'm about out of time but I am almost done. Somehow I get distracted and too much time passes. The girls call me to say they went on without me. Part 3 I show up to a football practice and decide I am going to be on the team. For some reason, I am angry and standoffish, but a lot of the people, including the coach, do not like me to begin with. They all try to act like assholes to me, but I stand my ground and talk big. This gets some people's respect and others become intimidated. I never actually do anything, though, besides be unflinching. We are running drills and I am about to be put up against a girl, which I know I could easily just walk right through. I begin to protest, and I wake up. January 8th, 2020. There is a group of us hanging out in this huge store. There is also a physically well-endowed woman who keeps doing things that make me accidentally grab her endowments. Okay, uh, she acts like she does not realize she is doing it, but then she becomes very flirty. Then our group realizes we can become invisible to other people in the store. We go throughout the store goofing off and just messing with people in dumb ways. After a while of doing that, we all end up back together. We are trying to figure out where we should go eat. We cannot decide anything, so we decided to just go eat at a McDonald's since we are already gathered in front of one. Except most of the group wants to go to another one that they think is better. I tell them that is ridiculous since there is one already here and it is better anyways. They go to the other one anyways and I end up by myself. I mindlessly run the store without ever going to McDonald's. I do not know what I want to do. The rest of the group at the other McDonald's realized I was right. The place was super crowded and all of the machinery was messing up so the food was not cooked correctly. I leave the store eventually and end up at my college's music building. I wander around there for a while just remembering the good times and then trying to figure out where I wanted to take my life next. I realized even though I had friends move to Hawaii like I did, I still never see them. I run into a couple people talking about their research. They are about to go get food and invite me, but I tell them I will just meet up with them later. Before they go, one of them asks me about a paper from the other person that I received uh, rewarded, but I do not remember the paper, but I play it off like I do. I realize I need to work on my own research and end up back home. I'm surprised to see the two people there eating and watching a movie. I look for food and I wake up. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Another another batch of my dream pad. I'm not really sure what to think of this one. Not not too bad. A little weirdness. Uh, kind of a little deep into my thoughts of my future in life and how I think about it. But yeah, there you go. What do you think? Go ahead and let me know. But if you like my video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see me read more from my dream pattern and other things I write, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to see what I do all that. But until next time, I'm the AC. Thank you for watching.
bye.